points in the third quarter than the entire first half for Iowa, led by Caitlin Clark. A simple ball screen, you gotta go over the top of that harder, and then they're doing a nice job of playing inside out. Of course, the logo three is always available for Caitlin Clark. I think the rhythm of Iowa playing inside out, sharing the basketball, moving it the way they've moved it. And after that poor shooting first half from Caitlin Clark, she has picked it up here in the second. And we got ourselves a triple-double watch. She had one against Wisconsin in their last game. And heading into the fourth, Caitlin Clark, 15 points, six rebounds, and seven assists. On the other side, for Iowa State, Ashley Jones, nine points and seven rebounds. It hasn't been the best shooting night for either of their superstars, but a big blast outscoring Iowa State for Iowa 27 to eight in that third quarter. The other thing too, Beth, is only six assists for Iowa State. They're a team that averages 68% of their baskets assisted on the season. And they fight their way back into it. Ryan, good. That's one way to do it. They hit about 10 threes per game. Look, the way they shoot the three, this game's far from over. That's their sixth of the night. Seven for Iowa this evening. Much better defense right there on that ball screen. Clark gets it with 10 on the shot clock. You better get your hands up. Here's Davis. Shot clock winding down, they don't see it. Oh, banked in by Martin to beat the buzzer. I mean, when it's going your way, it's going your way. Martin now with 11, she's got three triples. Solaris faces. Clark with a rebound, that's seven. Get the assist too, not on that one. Oh, I don't know if you want to give six six the move, no. the ball on the move like that. Clark will take advantage. 17 for Caitlin. While we were away, the officials had to review that three-point attempt by Kate Martin to see if she got it off in time. And they ruled that she did not did not get it off in time. Take the three off the board. When you're looking at a shot clock, it's horn light. A buzzer beater is clock light horn. It's a little weird rule. So, I don't know. Seems confusing to me. Another reason why you're still waiting for your invitation to join the rules committee, yes. is that right? I am waiting to be on the rules committee. I don't understand why. I guess it's because I'm not a part of a member institution. So Kate Martin is back to eight points on the night and the total tally now 52 to 39. We could probably find you an institution, Debbie. Oh yeah, I know I could find an institution. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's plenty out there. A couple minutes gone in the fourth quarter and here comes Iowa State. So you take the three away and now you add a three to theirs. This could be a little six point swing out of the timeout. Yeah, right here, Fritz does a nice job of attacking. Remember the first play of the second half, Fritz got Caitlin Clark on the block and got it, picked up one, uh, one her first foul. Iowa State wins tonight, by the way. They would clinch the entire Cyhawk series for the year. That's how good they were head to head in the spring sports. The men's game is tomorrow night, by the way. Here's Davis. Shot clock again winding down. They're gonna have to jack. Martin, can she do it again? Yes, she can! Oh my goodness! 
Molly Davis setting that up perfectly. Took one away from her and she got it right back. Well, Iowa State's going to look at this and they're going to say it's not the Iowa defense. You know, they have missed a bunch of shots. They've had their chances. Clark. Sonano goes to the left and a foul. They are so good at feeding the post. They understand angles, timing, the connection between Clark and Sonano on this action right here. And timing, look at that delivery. Leads her right into her step through. She's got such a good offhand move, good counters, good double moves. Iowa is trying to secure their first win over a ranked opponent this year. Monica Sonano dribbles more at the free throw line, taking free throws than she does when she scores field goals. Suarez, no. Hard rebound and a foul. The reach in on Martin will get Danae Fritz back to the line. So last year in this matchup, Debbie, both Clark and Jones went to, or two years ago, went to town. They both scored over 30. Last year, they were both over 25. And this year, you know, some of the others are picking things up for them. Clark has been better in the second half and is now again flirting with a triple-double. Well, you know, I mean, when Caitlin Clark scores more than 40 points, they're just two and three in her career. And she gets triple doubles now, that's hard to deal yeah. with. She is now the Big Ten's all-time leader, by the way, in that category after she scored 22 points with 10 rebounds and 10 assists in their Big Ten opening win over Wisconsin. Passing Sam Logic, who was a yes. great player here at Iowa. Caitlin Clark gets it right back. Marshall, wide open. They're in a zone. And Fritz didn't bump down to cover the corner. She was over from downtown in their last two games, and she breaks loose there. Marshall couldn't slow down, runs into Ryan. Keep in mind, Iowa State only has two team fouls, Iowa with three. Should Iowa State be able to get a couple of stops in a row? They've got to score, though. They can't keep uh, not, can't keep coming up with empty possessions right now if they're going to get back in it. They've got time. Well, and Ashley Jones in this second half is one for three. He only had three field goal attempts and one basket. That's an extra step from... Davis and Lisa Bluter reminding her team, hey, we're the team with the lead right now. Let's let's not be in such a hurry. While staying aggressive. Move, yeah. Play fast but not in a hurry. Yeah, that's John Wooden. See if they can get Jones a look. There she is. And she's got the three. I mean, it's going to be hard to be able to come back, but you got to handle it. Clark, reaching foul on Payne. Tomorrow it's the 32nd annual Home Depot College Football Awards Show. 
Reese Davis hosting our coverage, which begins at 7 o'clock on ESPN Words as we build towards bowl season. It's underway, uh, not this weekend, but next already. Ooh. Two Big Tens, a Big 12, and an SEC in the playoffs. Approaching the halfway point of this fourth quarter. All right, you got to try to put a little pressure on Iowa now, right? I mean, if you can score here and you can get a couple of stops in a row, put some game pressure on them. Jones gets another clean look and hits back-to-back -back triples. And this is how you start to see teams get tighter now, right? Now you got to handle it if you're Iowa. I think Lisa Bluter wants a timeout. 16-point deficit. They've chopped it down to 10. I don't think Caitlin Clark wanted a timeout there. She wants to play. Well, since we're here in Iowa, we have to revisit one of the big stories of the weekend in college basketball and the legendary career of C. Vivian Stringer celebrated at Rutgers as they named the court for C. Viv. Longtime coach, of course at Rutgers, started out her career at Cheney State, and in the middle was right here for a dozen years at Iowa, guiding the Hawkeyes to the 1993 Final Four. It's the 30th anniversary yes. of C. Vivian Stringer's team going to the Final Four. Ohio State was in that Final Four with Katie Smith, the freshman All-American, and that's the game that Cheryl Swoops dropped 47 yes. on the Buckeyes in Texas Tech, and Marsha Sharp. What a national championship. Yeah, congratulations to Coach Stringer and her retirement now. At 74, she's looking pretty good. I yeah. watched part of that game. And a fabulous career. Martin spins in the lane. Kate Martin needs to be that third option every night. She and Warnock. Three, no, Caitlin Clark able to track it down. Clark off the bounce, Sonano foul. I'm not sure about the shot selection on the other end, right? I mean, Ashley Jones just hit a couple of threes. Get her a touch, right? I mean, I would ride the All-American right now. Sonano, 14 points, nine rebounds. The Clark watch, 17 points. She needs two rebounds and three assists to get back-to-back -back triple doubles. What a wild year already with all the parity we've seen around the country. So fun. For South Carolina, the defending champs unbeaten at the top and looking strong again. I think Stanford is the next best team yeah. right now. And then after that, it's wide open. Yeah. I really like Ohio State. Kevin McGuff might have his best team. Indiana's right there behind them. Clark will walk it up. Marshall circles back. Clark with under 10 on the shot clock. Donarski defends. Inside, Sonano for two. What a combination. That's a pretty good inside-outside duo. Oh, and they used the entire shot clock as well. Under three minutes to go. Soares, no. I think Iowa showed a lot of maturity here in the second half as they got the double-digit lead, and they have not let Iowa State back in. Clark for two more. She's got 19. Boy, they love them some hoops in this state, don't they? You don't let them back in. 
you send a message and you say, we're going to separate right now. Off the glass, Sinano. The curl by Clark. Back-to-back -back twos for one of the top two per two point percentage teams in the nation. They've scored on their last six possessions and they are outscoring Iowa State in the second half, 45 to 22. And it started with Clark knocking down some triples. She's now got four of them on the night. The triple double watch, two rebounds and two assists away. You know, this is a, a really big win for Iowa because if they had lost this game, that would have put them losing three of their last yeah. four. Uh, that would be tough to consider hosting in the NCAA tournament, right? Because it, it matters right now. Yeah. Of course, they hosted a year ago, and in one of the bigger stunners we've seen in tournament history, Creighton came in here and knocked them out and then went on to knock Iowa State out. For South Carolina got him. Here's Lexi Donarski. But again, love to see these cross-conference matchups, especially in-state rivalries like this, but according to the preseason polls, these are still the two teams to beat in the Big Ten and the Big 12. Right. Well, I think the Big 12 is deeper this year than it's been in a while. And certainly the Big 10 is outstanding. ACC looking pretty good as well. Yeah. What, they got four teams in the top 10 right now? Yep. Undefeated Virginia Tech, keep your eye on them. Final two minutes. And Clark turns it over. One of the things that Caitlin Clark talked to us today was not just about her confidence, but building confidence around her teammates. She knows that she and Sonato can deliver, right? And they need everyone else, though, if they're going to go further in the tournament than they did last year. They've got Minnesota coming up next, a conference game. Iowa State will be on ESPN again against Villanova shortly. How about a that five dude? second violation. That's the second one here in the second half. Now out to Clark. Back to Sonano. I think the one thing that Caitlin Clark could get better at, though, is using screens, like rubbing her defender off some screens, taking a sharper angle sometimes. Help her get a little more separation. Jones, double comes from Clark. Ryan. Got it. Quick timeout, Iowa State following the three in the final minute now here in Iowa City. Kay Martin. This is who Caitlin Clark told us today was going to have a big game. And boy, was she right. She sensed it early this morning at shoot around. Martin doing a nice job of spotting up. Hey, who wouldn't want to play with Caitlin Clark? Right? She's going to get you the ball. Get your hands ready. Get your feet ready. Averages six a game. She's doubled that tonight. Has knocked down three triples. She grew up wanting to be a Hawkeye, cared about this rivalry, and delivered. Well, that's what they talked about at shoot around today. We need all of us. And they've gotten that balance. Three players in double figures. Sonano with a double-double tonight. 18 points, 10 rebounds. Only one double-digit scorer on the other side for Iowa State. Suarez, excuse me, with uh, one double-double, 10 points and 11 rebounds. Ryan and Jones with 15 points apiece. Yeah, not a good shooting night for Iowa State. 
really not a great shooting night for Iowa. Certainly the first half was a struggle for both teams, but I think Lisa Bluter's got to feel good about some of the maturity that her team has shown. And, and the officials are taking a look at a play because Lisa Bluter, I believe, asked them to take a look at a play involving Ashley Jones and, and some flailing. But uh, they're not, they're not going to do anything about it. Officials got together and talked about it and then talked to Lisa. And after the long discussion with the officials, Lisa Bluter calls the timeout to get together with her team. It's not a little gamesmanship going on here, is it? I don't think so. I oh, think yeah. she... See if uh, we can. It was this play that they were talking about, and did she get catch Marshall in the head? I guess. I, I don't. I mean, I think she was trying to pass the ball, and it was the follow through. I don't think she was trying to do anything to Marshall. We had a play earlier. Remember, was Suarez got hit in the face on a Sinano follow through? Officials didn't look at that one either. Less time at the monitor. Guess they've got it cleared up now. Marshall does go to the bench. And the chant of Hawkeye State is underway. Down to five on the shot clock. Blocked. Trying to clean it up is Warnock, and she's fouled. Running a play for Kate Martin, trying to get her. That's how you build confidence right there. That's what Caitlin Clark was doing. Trying to set her up. Seven point six rebounds for Warnock, the senior out of Madison, Wisconsin. Let's look at what is still to come for Iowa heading into the holiday season. Don't be sleeping on Tanya Warren's team at Northern Iowa either. That is a that's a well put together ball club out of the valley. Shout out to the entire state of Iowa, right? Drake yeah. basketball, these two clubs. Runners good from Donarski. Time out to advance the ball. And here's what's uh, still to come for Iowa State. Then Drake on the 22nd. Hey, Maddie Segrist from Villanova can fill it up. Denise Dillon's got herself a really good ball club there. And then Drake, as you mentioned, the state of Iowa, right? That's the thing, the four the Division One teams in this state, they all play each other. It's great for the fans. So final possession here. They don't have to take a shot. I assume they're just going to dribble the clock out. And Clark will run it out. Iowa's going to beat Iowa State. 70 to 57 is your finals. And a big second half for the Hawkeyes after they trailed by five at the break. I mean, she's a gamer, a competitor. No, she could put up big numbers anytime, but she got her teammates involved tonight. And that's really the key for Iowa having success. 
is for Caitlin to distribute, make everybody else better, make the game easier for our teammates. Woo! Woo! Not pretty, but that's gritty! <laughs> Courtside with Caitlin Clark. <laughs> What, you, what's your analysis? Not pretty, but that's gritty. That's, that's what we're about. I think that just showed what type of team we can be. You know, no matter how we play on the offensive end of the floor, defense is all that matters. It was the little things for us today. We didn't shoot it as well as we would have liked. I guess not too bad, but um, could have been better, but it's all what it's all about. What switched in the second half, Caitlin? You know, I let the game come to me. I think I was forcing it a little early. Um, tough shots that I didn't need to take. Uh, got my teammates involved there. Kate, what did I tell you? A shooter on. You told us. Kate's we gonna we said you were right. Kate's going to step up today. And what did she do? She stepped up. Uh, she was the X factor for us. Gabby hit a big three there in the corner. Um, but that's what it's about. That's Iowa basketball, baby. These cra this crowd was incredible. Uh, I mean, this is where women's basketball lives. Iowa City, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the games obviously are big, but this one's got to be a little special, right? In state and, and so many people, you're either a Cyclone fan or a Hawkeye fan, and to be able to win this second time right for you in your career. Yeah, I mean, we were coming off COVID last year, so kind of a difficult task for us to go to Ames um, and play there. But, you know, this is so good for our state. Women's basketball in our state is tremendous. Not only Iowa State, but Drake, yeah. you and I. Um, we got four great teams. Um, I mean, the talent level, especially from the young age uh, to now, I mean, I grew up with a lot of these girls that were on the court playing. Uh, the talent level is tremendous, and, you know, the game in, in the state of Iowa is special. So, I mean, I mean, I hope the whole world's watching now. Uh, really skilled players in our state, and I think we showed that today. We talked a lot about confidence, and I thought in the second half your team showed tremendous maturity, especially late when Iowa State cut it to 10-8. And then you guys came back and you scored a couple of baskets in a row, and it wasn't always you doing all the scoring. How important is it for everyone to be involved? That's when we're at our best. Um, when we play the best, you know, we got multiple people in double figures. I think we had, what, three tonight, almost four. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's what it's about. When other people step up, it's not going to be just me and Monica. Um, we're a really hard team to be when we play defense and we have multiple people in double figures. So. Uh, I hope this gives us that boost that we needed. It really felt like we were going to break through, and I felt like we broke through tonight, um, especially on the defensive end. We showed what type what, what type of team we're capable of being. So um, I'm just excited for this group, honestly. Uh, Caitlin said defense about five or six times That's in this too interview. Much. Too That's much too for much. For me. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. We're, we're occasion for me, too. <laughs> Congratulations on the win. Thank you, guys. Flirted with a triple-double tonight, and uh, the Iowa Hawkeyes get the dub over Iowa State, 70 to 57, your final score. And now back to the studio with Monica and Rebecca.